Radio Saltire, broadcasting to East Lothian and the world with Jenna Coburn. Hello folks, welcome to Jenna's Jamboree with me, Jenna Coburn. If you saw on social media in a few days time, it is International Mother Language Day. So I want to hear what your favourite Scottish words and or phrases are. My favourite Scottish word is glaikit. <laughs> and for those non scots speakers out there, glaikit means silly, foolish or thoughtless. Sometimes used when talking about an umpty. And that is someone who is being a bit silly billy in their endeavours. So send me your favourite Scottish words and or phrases, but keep them PG, I have delicate ears by heading over to our Facebook page and commenting on my post or send us a wee message. I'll read them out live on air because today we are scholars. We are educating the world one Scottish word day at a time. But that is not all. I also mentioned on social media that um, I have a game for you. It is called Guess the Scottish Accent. I have a few sound bites of people talking in their native accent for you to guess where about in Scotland the accent is from. And here is the first one. This is Alistair talking about his memories of first footing. First foot out of the door after the new year. Um, it's a thing that's kind of doing out now, but uh, certainly I have uh, memories of first footing uh, not that long ago in some places. And um, although I have to say I hadn't been very popular as a first fit because I read hair and uh, I mind not being allowed out of the door at my granny's house because I had red hair and I had to wait for somebody with black hair to go in for me. Oh, that's brilliant. I could listen to Alistair all day retelling his old memories. But where is his accent from? Let me know by heading over to the Facebook page and commenting on my post or send us a wee message. Okie dokie. So, at the top of the show, I asked you for your favourite Scottish words and phrases in a bid to educate non-native speakers of our wonderful language that is Scots. Don't worry, I'll also provide the definition <laughs> because you'll need it. So here's a few that have been sent in. Hodger wished. That means be quiet. <laughs> this is, I say this all the time. Your bum's out the windy. You're talking rubbish. What's for you'll no go by ye. That means what is meant to happen will happen. Get laldy. Give your all with great energy and enjoyment. How about they, eh? Fantastic. Right, they're just a few of popular phrases phrases we've been sent in. I like I say as I'm constantly saying your bums out windy. It's just so fun and funny to say. Right, so keep sending those in. Your favourite Scots words and phrases by heading over to the Facebook page and commenting on my post or by sending a wee message. If you've just tuned in, in a few days' time, it is International Mother Language Day. And so I am after your favourite Scottish words or phrases. But first, let's continue educating the world of our amazing language. It's time for another Guess the Scottish Accent. Here's Liz talking about our sons getting barred from the pub. Barred. Do you ken that word, barred? It wouldn't be the first time that one of my boys was barred. Their eye was getting barred for their local. But barred? Robbie Burns, our national barred. The telly said it. It's I foot in January. Like a 59 bus you can. Nothing for ages and you can't get moving for them. <laughs> Sounds like Liz had fun times back in the day. But can you place her accent? Let me know by commenting on the Facebook page or sending me a wee message. Now let's continue educating the world of our highly sophisticated and super stylish Scots language with words like these. Bahooke. That means your bum. Oakster. <laughs> that is your armpit. Dreech. It's very dreech the day. That is wet, dull, gloomy and is often talked about when talking about the weather. And this last one. Fankle. To be tangled or confused. Some cracking words there, I must say. But this is where it starts to get a bit complicated for our non-native speakers out there, as we have quite a few words that mean different things. With fankle, it means to physically get entangled, but also means to be confused. Then we have crow, which means a crow, but when used to shoot the crow, it means to leave in a hurry. Two completely different meanings. I'm so sorry if you're getting in a fan call. I got sacked from Rosetta Stone last year for making words up, but I can assure you, 
I am being 100% legit today. Right, before I play the next guest the Scottish accent, it's time for a wee history lesson, so hope you are buckled in for these factoids. Scots is a branch of the Germanic family of languages, which includes Dutch, English and Frisian. Scots originated with the tongue of the Angles, who arrived in Scotland about 600 AD. During the Middle Ages, this language developed and grew apart from its sister tongue in England until a distinct Scots language had evolved. At one time, Scots was the dominant language of Scotland, spoken by Scottish kings and queens, and was used to write both literary works and official records. So Scots comprises of four main dialects, which are then subdivided into a total of ten sub-dialects, which are Shetland, Orkney, North East, Caithness, East Angus and Concordon, West Central, East Central South, that is us, South Central, Border Scots and East Central North. Now that, that's well confusing, to be fair. <laughs> right, so from the evidence of the hearth and poll taxes of the 1690s, it could be estimated that there were around 750,000 speakers of Scots, which counted for about 70% of the Scottish population. The 2011 Scottish census returned 1.5 million speakers of Scots within Scotland, so that works out about 28% of the Scottish population, which was 5.4 million at the time. So I'm wondering what this year's census is going to say. I'm going to channel my inner Bruce Forsyth. Do we think higher or lower? I'm going to say lower. It's just a hunch. Right, time for Guess the Scottish Accent. We've already had sound bites from Alistair and Liz. Here's Bob and Billy talking about one of their comrades. Yeah. 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 It was a Jaina. Uh-huh. A Jaina, aye. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Most, uh-huh. most uh-huh. days. He was in the Strollers and in the Merchant Navy and things like that when he was younger, like then he, when he kind of settled in Scotland. Oh, so do we know where these gentlemen hail from? If you do, head over to the Facebook page and comment on my post or send us a wee message. I have one more soundbite that I'll play before the end of the show. But Right, so I've been sent some more fantastic Scots phrases. These are some fan dabby dozy ones. Here we go, let's have a read. The game's a bogey. Pretty much means match abandoned. Game over, not happening. Away and bail your heed. That means go away. <laughs> it's a common reaction to someone talking utter rubbish. Right, this one I've never heard of until just now. Didn't he teach your granny to suck eggs? Now that apparently means stop trying to teach someone something they already know. And this one's a good one. We're all joke Tamsin's bairns. We're all equals. No one is better or worse. Like I says, I had never heard of that didn't teach your granny to suck eggs until just now but I'm definitely going to use it. Every day is a school day, and we are not only teaching the world about Scots language, we are also learning ourselves. Right, keep your fave Scots words and phrases coming in via the Facebook page and Messenger as we inform the world of our weird and wonderful language. We've just tuned in. In a few days' time, it is International Mother Language Day, and so I am after your favourite words and phrases, Scots words and phrases, but first, it's time for my last guest, the Scottish accent. Here's Valerie talking about our love for writing books. I do enjoy writing in dialect, and um, I mostly write for Burns. And we'd view that what I write will maybe be read to them, be adults. I've written a Burns novel and a couple of Burns picture books. Quite often, I do maybe choose to add dialect words that I would like to exposed to Bairns too, so they may be learning something new and increasing their dialect vocabulary. For example, enemy characters like had Piri Muti. She's a tooth fairy. Piri Muti. So, you've heard Alistair, Liz, Bob and Billy, and now Valerie. But can you place their accents? If you can, let me know by commenting on our Facebook page or sending me a wee message. I'll give you a clue. They are definitely somewhere in Scotland. Uh, that's all... That you're good, that's the only clue. Right, troops, have we guessed the accent shit? Here's Alistair, Liz, Bob and Billy and Valerie again. 
first bit out of the door after the new year. Um, it's a thing that's kind of doing out now, but uh, certainly I've uh, memories of first fitting uh, not that long ago in some places. And um, although I have to say I hadn't been very popular as a first fit because I had red hair and uh, I mind no being allowed out of the door at my granny's house because I had red hair and I had to wait for somebody with black hair to go in for me. Bard. Do you ken that word, bard? It wouldn't be the first time that one of my boys was bard. Their eye was getting bard for their local. But bard? Rabbi Burns, our national bard. The telly said it. It's I foot in January. Like a 59 bus you ken. Nothing for ages and you can't get moving for them. No, no, no. It was a jiner. Uh -huh. A jiner, aye. Most days, he was in the strollers and in the merchant navy and things like that when he was younger, like then he, when he was kind of settled in Scotland. I do enjoy writing in dialect and um, I mostly write for Burns and um, we'd view that what I write will maybe be read to them be adults. I've written a Burns novel and a couple of Burns picture books. Quite often I do maybe choose to add dialect words that I would like to expose to Burns to so they maybe learn something new and increasing their dialect vocabulary. For example, enemy characters like had Piri Muti. She's a tooth fairy, pity but you. Well, did you guess them? I can reveal. First up is Alistair. He is down in Selkirk, so his accent is from the Scottish borders. Did you get that? Next up was Liz talking about her sons getting barred. Her accent is a West Central accent, so that's like from Airdrie westward. Hmm. Now, surely, surely us local people will get this one. Bob and Billy are from Musselburgh, so that is one of our accents from East Lothian. And now Valerie. She has a very different and distinct accent from all the others, considering she's all the way up in Shetland. Hmm, there we have it. Scottish Borders, West Central, East Lothian and Shetland accents. Did you guess them correctly? If you did, you have got bragging rights for days. Four days. Tell everybody. Thanks a many muckle for joining me here today. I'll be back next week with either more of the same or maybe something different. Who knows? That's still a week away. Catch you next week. Bye!